Morning, it's Monday. This is what I'm doing today. Putting these orders together for Pete and I turned my computer into my TV so we're watching John Lover while I work. Then I have to go out, deliver some Avon, get these orders in the mail because it's Thanksgiving Thursday. And I'll talk to you in a bit. Bye guys. Pretties. Okay, had an appointment at 6 for a lady to come by and place her son's senior order. She showed up at 5.30. Ash had to leave at quarter past 5 to go to work. And my plan was to go downstairs and put the dogs away so that way when she came to the door there wasn't a whole bunch of barking and yapping and all that good stuff. But she showed up early so I'm chasing her and I hit my hand on the wall and I don't know if I cracked my nail underneath but it hurts. But anyway, she came in, I managed to catch the dogs, I put one in the basement and one in the downstairs loo. Not literally in the loo but in the loo room, the bathroom. So Louie stopped. So, then I came up and I was just looking for something in my bag and emptied my bag out. And now I wonder why my bag's so heavy. This is all the stuff I carry in my bag. The iPad, this, um, this, I don't, it's just, this has, it's a makeup bag, but I use it for, it's got my two checkbooks in, all my little thing, keys that I have on this little keychain thing for uh, the different stores. Tissues, Pete's business cards, keys to what, I don't know. I must carry around like a hundred um, hand sanitizers and lotions. And then I've got my little change purse, which I just emptied out because it's heavy. And then I have this little case here that I keep my license, my debit card for my Avon business, my Costco card, and then my phone sits in this middle part so that's that and I've got this which has more hand sanitizer in it and lip balms and what else is in there uh, Roxy I'm asking you see what I can't remember what else was in there I, I'm not doing what's in my bag because I I'll do that one day and I got my skin so soft Avon this one's a really good hand cream it's really thick I just got that and then the Mary Kay one I got for my friend is a body lotion. This one's almost empty, but I love that scent. This little um, wallet thingy has... I don't even know what it has in it anymore, so why am I carrying it, guys? Oh, that's extra cards and more business cards, so that's brilliant. Then we have these handy-dandy little face wipes and hand wipes. My wallet. What else, Roxy? This one has all my charger and um, plug and earphones for my iPhone. Here's some money I just collected for Avon today. Roxy, move, bud. Here's my notebook I carry around, which today I got so stressed out because I have so much to do. Here's some more money that someone just gave me for Avon today when I was delivering. My keys. And I don't even know why I have that flash drive because I can't even use it. Some candy, <laughs> which I put in this little bag. This is some. Um, Roxy, get off. Those aren't for you. These are Cadbury, those Cadbury egg things. And then this, which I keep my pens in because I can't stand when pens are all rolling around the bottom of the bag. But this See, when I work with Pete, I have to carry a lot of stuff with me so I don't take it out. Now we've been running back and forwards to the hospital. I keep it in. But these taste really simple. Yes, taste really simple. On the go hazelnut coffee with the creamer and stuff. These are great. You just It's all sweetened already. Roxy, get your snout out of my stuff. There's a couple of those and um, pens one of these lemonades for water. See, I don't like plain old water. So, what did I just show you? There's the hazelnut one. Oh, and then, yeah. And then that one. So there's two different kinds. And then, this, I keep them in this envelope so they don't get battered in my bag. Well, there's a everyday Rachel Ray magazine in there right now. Just came in the mail over the weekend and then 
I always carry my Taste Free Simple catalogs in case any, anybody wants any and they ask me about it. And uh, Avon books. And that's crazy. That's why my bag's so heavy. And that's not even including what's in the pockets, which you can't see. I have a lollipop, very important. A candy cane, very important to carry around, don't you think? And um, this little case is cute. This was a little coat. There's Ashley's graduation picture look. Ah, her dad took that. And it has my Coles card in it, which I don't use. Oh, uh, and there's a picture when Mum and Elaine were over. Pete, Ash, I, Mum and Elaine when we went to the Hard Rock in Times Square. And what else? Now you must be getting seasick. Then there's my gloves in. Oh, here we go. I use my torch. There's my silver gloves. Half a Kit Kat. <laughs> oh dear. It's because I keep stuff in there. Because, like I said, running back and forward to the hospital, working with Pete. Uh, the only thing I don't have in here right now is my big container of gum, which I usually carry around. My other bag over there has become my second work bag and that has all my catalogs and um, different things in that I need when, when I work with Pete. Speaking of Pete, better go answer that. Bye guys. Okay, so I spoke with Pete and then while I'm talking with Pete the office phone rings again so I had to take that call. But Pete called about something good. He was running to uh, pick some stuff up from Stu Leonard's which is a nice surprise because I didn't know he was going there. That's that lovely grocery store that I video sometimes that has the singing things all in it and stuff like that and if you haven't seen it yet on one of my videos I'll do it again for you because once Christmas comes it gets very busy in there and it's just a fun store it's funny it's like a one-way store you go in and you work your way around it it's not like an up and down the aisles like a regular grocery store it's uh it's like a one-way I want to say a maze, but it's not, but you go through different areas and it leads you through like the product and then you go to the fruit and veg, then the prepared fruits and the cheeses and the fish, which I hate the fish. I try and whiz through there because it reeks and I don't eat fish. Pete does. So, um, and then it has all the soups and that's what he was going for for me was the soup. Anyway, so I'm putting everything back in my bag. Now you can see why my bag is so heavy and it's not, it is big compared to what a lot of people carry but that's what I used to carry for my bag and I was finding I was shoving so much stuff in it that it was making it dead heavy and as you know I have a bad back so I was getting tired of the comments your bag's too heavy no wonder you have a bad back but I just tried to clean out the bag and take stuff out that I didn't need and there's nothing I don't need it's one of those things where I could take out the huge purple makeup bag which has all the checkbooks and all that stuff in it because yeah I don't write checks every day I actually very rarely write checks but I know the minute I take something out I'm gonna need it and who's the first person to ask me to put stuff in my bag when we go into the city Pete Nash because she doesn't like to carry her bag she likes hands free and Pete will say oh my keys are hanging you know he doesn't want to keep them hanging on his belt which is isn't that so 70s when you hang your keys on your belt shows our age but everyone throws their stuff in my bag, which makes it heavier. I have everything in my bag but my dog. Roxy. We did buy a bag for Roxy when she was a pup, but she would never go in it, so. Alright, you guys. Well, I'm going to go. Pete's bringing that soup home, so I'm dead excited about that. That's going to be my dinner. I love that mushroom soup. And um, I'm going to watch some TV now. I'm thirsty. Louis licking himself. It's very attractive. Louis, could you stop, please? Thank you very much. Um, oh, I didn't tell you the other day, and I keep forgetting as well. When Ash and I went to our little Christmas bazaar just over a week ago, um, they were you put your name down for a door prize, and each vendor at the place was given a door prize on the hour. And I got a phone call saying I'd won one of the door prizes and they were going to put it in the office at the school and I was to go pick it up last Tuesday. Well, it's now a week later and I've still forgotten to go pick it up. So maybe Ash and I will have a nail appointment tomorrow at 10, which I wanted to go on Wednesday, but Ash was on the schedule Wednesday, which means she had the car because Pete has his car. 
so I uh, had to change it to Tuesday. Now she's not working Wednesday, so I would have loved to have gone Wednesday, um, but I can't change it because they weren't there today, and it's the first appointment of the day tomorrow. And because I'm having my lines redone and the nails all cut, I didn't want to cancel the first appointment of the day because they can't reschedule it. Does that make sense? They're not there today, so by the time they get in there tomorrow, I'll be showing up myself. And I think there's nothing worse than showing up and having a cancelled appointment on your voicemail and you can't fill it because it's that time frame. They don't open till 10. So I'm going to go tomorrow and then Wednesday Ash and I are going to go to the Christmas tree shop and go get some bits and pieces for my table for the open house on Sunday. So that'll be fun, I think. And Thursday's Thanksgiving, so... I just found out, I think, from a, a note that everybody's going to be there now. Brother-in-law, sister-in-laws, everybody. So that'll be good. Um, again, too bad we can't have dad-in-law there, but um, we'll have another one when he gets home. They don't know I said that. We will. We'll have another one. I'll do it. All right. Well, Roxy and Louie are on a standoff. I've still got to put those few things back in my bag. I had that blanket on my legs before because I was freezing. Oh, it's so nice to have the dogs quiet. You couldn't care less about her today, could you, Louie? She's just a figment of your imagination today. Hi, guys. We'll probably come back at you later. I'm not sure if there's anything exciting to say. We'll see what Pete's day was like, if anything exciting happened over there. And uh, we'll talk to you later. Bye. <gasps> Bye, Roxy. <laughs> Every time I say bye, she panics, thinks she's going to be left alone. Anyway, bye guys. Talk to you in a bit. Bye. There, after my soup. Aren't you guys? Well, Pete's mum asked Pete if he would go to see his dad on Thanksgiving morning because she... No, no, Rax. Because with her cooking and everything, she's not going to be able to go. So Pete said yes. Usually um, Thanksgiving morning, that's when we put up our Christmas tree. So while Ash was at work, she doesn't know we've done it yet, it's 10 o'clock. We just put the tree up and we had to finagle it a bit. It's one of those pre-lit trees, but because some areas of the branches now, because it's five years old, the lights have gone out. So I had Pete do that tonight. So Ash and I can decorate it tomorrow, um, since we won't be around Thursday morning. So then I think I'll have to do all my baking and everything on Wednesday night. Um, and then we'll go over there for dinner around 2 on Thursday. So that's what we did. So now I'm eating my dinner. And I just want to come back, say goodnight, fill you in. Well, I'll see what Ash, what Ash says when she gets home. No one actually she'll want to decorate it tonight if she hasn't had a long night. But there again, she's been on at work on her feet for a while and she's not due home till 11. Roxy's looking at me like, why are you talking to yourself? <laughs> anyway, guys, we're going to love and leave you now. I'm going to download this and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Hope everyone had a good Monday. Bye, guys.